Peggy 16. Making an online game like Ghost Recon Online is pretty complicated. It's really a global effort. We have people in uh, six or seven studios working on, on Giro. I'm Theo Sanders, I'm the janitor. I'm the producer for Ghost Recon Online. It's a game that feels a little bit different from other shooters out there, and I think people pick up on that very quickly when they play. Even here within the team, when we play test, we realize that this kind of dynamic with covers and the pressure and the intensity that creates, the kind of the feeling of a front line, is something that's pretty unique. Hi there, I'm Jesse Knapp, a lead game designer on Ghost Recon Online. I work with pretty much everybody on the team to try to make sure that Ghost Recon Online really fulfills all of our dreams and can be the game it can be. Whether it's uh, looking at the economy, uh, the cover system, or uh, how the launcher works. I try to make sure uh, that in my work with, with every different person on the team, that we strive to create the best experience we can, that we work through the issues that need to be worked through, we find good solutions, and uh, just, uh, just make Jero a lot of fun and easy to get into, and something you want to keep coming back to. Hi, I'm Joe McGinn. I'm a senior game designer on Grow, and my main area of responsibility is the fun stop game features, and level design. Part of my job actually is working with the level designers to come up with, uh, with new spaces for the game and testing those, even though the fun goes up and down greatly as we, as we, as we go through that process. But uh, it's the best part of my day. Every day we're uh, trying the new levels and, and improving them. Okay, I'm Alexander, I'm the project coordinator for the Giro project. It's basically all the kick-ass content players get to enjoy. I just manage the deliverables of all this and deliver the best content to our players. So yeah, it's exhilarating and, and fun to see all this come to play. I'm Nicole, I'm the combat designer for Ghost Recon Online. Weapons, guns. If it involves numbers, I probably am involved in one way or another. I basically work on first um, the, the weapons in the game. I work on the armor system, um, the class uh, devices as well. Hi, my name is Wilson. I'm the character artist. My name is Andy. I'm a 2D 2D artist. Uh, we do weapons, uh, armor, characters and helmets. Yeah, we try to put a bit of new things inside, more like challenging the brand and uh, design. So my name is Derek Gill. Uh, I'm an associate producer. Uh, right now, I'm doing a more interesting thing. Uh, I'm building the future, basically. I'm designing cool features that players will only get to see after you know our game goes live, and hopefully, you guys will be as excited as I am for all these new features coming in soon. Basically, that's what we do when we want to launch the game. We shove finger over and we press the launch button. Okay. That's how we launch the game. <laughs> We have this uh, kind of long-standing tradition in the Ghost Recon Online team. When someone leaves on vacation, uh, we somewhat modify their desk. In fact, the desk you're about to see in this video, the person on vacation hasn't seen yet. And we're really looking forward to seeing what happens when he comes back. When people go out of town, we really come together to do terrible things to their desk. Although I must say, some, one of the best examples of teamwork I saw was on my recent birthday. When coming back into the office, I was ambushed by a good percentage of the team and hit with hundreds of nerf darts over a period of just a couple minutes. Um, it's a lot like uh, if you don't use cover in Jera. You should play Ghost Recon Online if you haven't already.